I was on Twitter one day and I saw someone like post a Vine um, and it was actually the first day Vine came out. So I, I clicked on it, figured out what it was, went to the App Store, downloaded it. And so we were here in the middle of Ohio spending hours making these six second Vines and one day one of them went viral. We stopped wrestling, you know, we stopped going to school. Um, I stopped pursuing the Navy SEALs to pursue entertainment full time. Leading up to when I was leaving, a, there was a lot of hatred and people saying like, hey, I'll see you in three months when you don't make it in LA or, you know, what are you gonna do when Vine dies? Um, and it was all kind of white noise to me because I already had my mind made up on it and I had been to Los Angeles enough times to like fall in love with it and it, I knew it was the decision that I wanted to make. It was a big decision to make, but ultimately it's been the best decision I've, I've made so far in my life. I'm Jake Paul, and that was my story. What's your story? Share it with us on social media using hashtag share your story. What's up everybody, Furious Pete here, and I have the honor of being in the brand new book, Three Billion Under 30. I'm an anorexia survivor, I'm a cancer survivor, and through a lot of life lessons, through a lot of learning, through a lot of, a lot of hard work, uh, I've managed to start multiple, multiple businesses. I have over 5 million subscribers on YouTube, over 700 million views. Hi everyone, my name is Taryn Southern and I am a content creator. So my story as far as work is concerned is I grew up in Wichita, Kansas. I always loved performing as a kid, but I never thought that a career as a performer was even feasible for me. So I went to school at University of Miami. I studied anthropology and journalism. And when I graduated, I got a job at a financial services firm. I was so miserable after three months that I decided to just pack my bags and head to LA because I figured if I didn't give this a shot, I would regret it for the rest of my life. Basically, I found a niche within social media, started on Snapchat, created cool content there, worked with brands to make real, I think I did the very first brand and Snapchat campaign with Disney back in the day. Kept moving with that and then I was like, hey, let's expand. Diversified over to YouTube, so now I'm doing the YouTube thing. I create content there, work with brands there. Moved into public speaking. Now I'm doing consulting for brands with digital media, digital strategy within social media. And it's all happened in like two or three years because digital media is awesome and I just keep finding new ways to like learn and have fun and build a business out of it. Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com and I like to help people create awesome. A lot of you may be familiar with my YouTube channel. It's an education YouTube channel that has over 175,000 subscribers in the Create Awesome community and it's all centered around helping people who are creative learn and grow and just share the awesome things that they want to create and put out into the world. My mom raised both me and my sister up by herself she moved us from the Philippines, and if you guys know, the Philippines isn't the land of opportunities. So she moved us here to the U.S. to give us more opportunities. And seeing my mom raise two kids in a foreign country by herself, that really inspired me to try my hardest in everything. Um, in college, I got a lot of scholarship. I even got paid to go to college because of the extra scholarship, and I took that extra scholarship and my freelance jobs on the side and use that to buy this home that I'm living in now. So that is my story. What's your story?